And now let us move on to watch this boys. What are you watching? Did I talk about the crime of the century? I think I did. I feel like you yes. talked about it like nine times. No, or you no. just this talked is the one about, about it. the drugs. Yeah, you talked stuff. about opioids. it for like opioids. Opioids. Yeah. I you think gotta watch. You talked it. about it longer than the actual Stop documentary it. is. No, it's only the actual actual movie is only four hours long. Two parts. Our we finished Chartable it. dropped in real time <laughs> while you were talking about this documentary. Chartable doesn't track in real time. It does when you talk about that documentary. <laughs> it's excellent. It's really excellent. I highly we finished it. I highly recommend it. I know not for you guys, perhaps, but our listeners at home. It's pretty fucking shocking. Yes. Have you uh, have you started watching For All Mankind yet? No, it's on the menu. I, okay. I bring it up every night. I bring it I present the choices to Mrs. Cheapy, and there's always one of the choices. But we we keep discovering new things. Uh, and one of the another documentary, uh, this is just a, a straightforward one shot movie that I highly recommend called Assassins. Wombat, pay attention. I am. Are you familiar with the assassination of King Jong-il's brother? Brother? The King Jong- Wasn't he killed in Nam? an airport? Killed in an airport, yes. So this nope, is the- never heard of him. This is the story about that, and it is unbelievable. I don't want, if you don't know the details Wasn't of it- Wasn't he killed by his brother? Yeah, it was a political assassination, yeah. basically. I mean, the, you know, the dictator did not show up at the airport and murder his I'm brother. I'm more of an Archduke Francis Ferdinand kind of guy, but sure. This is unbelievable how they, just the, 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 pl the plot that they implemented to murder him was like so simple and so genius at the same time. I don't want to ruin it because if you don't know the details, do you remember any of the details from the news at the time? Like I, I, how he was, like how he was killed, or anything like wasn't that. Wasn't it like a poison? But it was like uh, administered, like someone walked by and did the quick jab, walk away. Close enough, close enough. Yeah, you know the quick jab, walk away. I don't want to ruin it because I that, feel like that if you spies <laughs> use. <laughs> I mean, it's you're not completely wrong, but I don't want to ruin the detail details because the details are what makes this uh, story incredible. So if you don't know anything about it, it's all the more incentive that you should uh, you should uh, watch this. It's called Assassins. It's on Stars. Uh, okay, I have that. Uh, oh, okay. I, I, stars? Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you can rent it. Uh, but it was it's don't only an hour everything? and a half. What's that? Yeah. Don't you have everything other Me? than Apple TV? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay. Good. So yeah, it's only an hour and a half. I Peacock. Does that count? Watch this with Laura. I think uh, I think she would like it. It's she probably it's, would. It's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty. You'd be like, your mouth will be open for a lot of it. She's familiar with the quick jab, walk away. Okay, good. Is that like your sex life? Mm -hmm. That was the uh, joke. Yes. Good. Excellent. Welcome, welcome to the joke. Uh, another show that I watched was a new show on HBO Max called Hacks. Is that any good? It's pretty good. Yeah, we watched the first two episodes. It's pretty good. Doesn't mean it's good. It's funny. It's funny. I like it. We'll, we'll continue to watch it. Is we've we've only watched that two is episodes. the Gene Smart comedy about a washed up celebrity. She's a stand up comedian. She's not washed up. She's maybe she's she's peaked. She's past her peak. She's Older on the way down. Celebrity. She's on the way down, but she's very successful. And she hires. She has to hire like an up and coming writer, basically. And it's like you know. They clash to uh, hilarious consequences. It's funny. It's laugh out. It's definitely laugh out loud funny. Um, yeah, I like it, and it has some sex in it. Cool. Not not Jean. What's her name? I'm, Jean Smart. Jean Jean yeah, Smart. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see her have sex in it, but uh, the, the younger women. woman has the sex. In Did it. you watch Designing Women when it was on? No, was she on that? She was on that. She was oh. one of the designing women. Yeah. She's she's also in another HBO show called Mayor of East Town, which we talked about before. And yes. I'm trying to convince you to watch that. We, I will. It's not an. It's not that I don't want to. I just have it. I think it's only six episodes, and they're on episode five because it seems to be. We watched the fifth episode, and they seem to be wrapping it up. So it must only be one more episode left. But that's that's excellent too. And she's amazing in it. She's really funny in it. That show. Yes. That's that's a it's a very unique show, as your friend Jason Isbell pointed out on Twitter, Shipwreck, that it's like a sort of a dark detective, gritty detective show, but it's got like there's at least one laugh out loud moment every episode. It's it's unique in that way. Uh, so that's what I've been watching. Do you have your review of Saturday Night Live while I'm at? I did watch the Keegan Michael <laughs> Key episode of Saturday Night Live. Yes. Uh, it was. 
a, a, I'd say above par, a, a, a better than average episode. Uh, there was some mixed feelings on the opening. I, I liked the concept of the opening. I didn't love it, uh, but it uh, there's been worse. The highlights were they did a spoof of the last dance. Shipwreck, I saw you, that. I saw yeah. that skit. Yeah, I was gonna say shipwreck. I feel like you would I, like that. I pick and choose like skits. Like if if they get up enough, like enough traction to like come across my way, and it looks like something I'd be interested in, that's that's when I bite the bullet and watch something. From I was gonna say that's pretty much your wheelhouse. So if you didn't like that, you probably wouldn't have liked much of anything. It was it was it was funny. Like you know what? I could have been better, but it was funny. I like it was a little too mean spirited for me. I felt like it was a little bit of a punch down, but I don't know. That's just me. A little bit. A l- not not too much, but. No, it's, it, well, I wasn't offended. It, when, <laughs> when you're Michael Jordan, mm-hmm. it's hard to not, like, where do you punch up at? Yeah, well, it's it was that. And also, I think, they, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it was fine. The Muppet sketch was probably the big highlight. 7.5. Yeah, the Muppet sketch was funny as hell. So, oh, I got to watch that. I haven't watched any clips. That was a good one. That's worth your time. That's, okay. that's five minutes of your life that you can uh, spare. <laughs> Fair enough. But it was pretty funny. And also that sketch must have cost a fortune because they made their own Muppets. So, <laughs> Is it expensive it, to make yeah. Muppets? I would assume. Is I, there a I Muppet shortage? I can't. It couldn't have been cheap. They made like five Muppets. So huh, whatever. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, seven point five. What's the number? I feel yeah. like you need a number rating for every yeah, no, that's, episode. That's pretty good. I would say a seven point five is fair. <laughs> are you using the full scale though, or are we doing half, half scale, like uh, say, decimals? Like no, yeah, out of out of ten, a seven point five out of ten. That's uh. Are you using the whole decimal scale though? It's important to know. Yeah, I'm using. Yeah, the, okay. I could go to a seven point eight. Okay, if, good. Uh, yeah, good. If it yeah. warranted that. Okay. If it warranted that. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. I need to know. Yeah. All right, new feature on the show, guys. We're coming up with new segments left and right here. We may need some new. <laughs> we may need some new theme music. Where's um, who's the guys that wrote the theme song? Silent Sound Guy and uh, Red Tank. The guys got to get back to get in the studio. I think. Uh, oh, we got some some fifty dollar donations coming in for uh, Children's Tumor Foundation. Nuclear Monster says Free Palestine, and <laughs> and Dan says nothing. There it is. You're updated now. Cool. I'll say your political messages if you're going to donate $50. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I mean, you know, I'm not going to say some racist stuff, but like, you know, if you have, you know. Yeah. Anyway, this is not IGN. We'll take your donations. We'll send you links, everything. 